This is WVUA Law Call. Hi, and welcome into WVUA Law Call. We love all the shows, all the Law Call shows that we do here on WVUA Television. However, I have to tell you, this Ask Us Anything topic that we do, it, I think it's my very favorite because you at home come up with some great questions. It, whatever is when it comes to a legal problem, a legal question, maybe something that you just have a question about and you just want to know the answer. It doesn't have to be anything that you have a particular problem about. Tonight, the topic is Ask Us Anything. You decide what we talk about. Maybe you want to talk about a personal injury case, a car accident case, a product liability case, family law. Maybe you have a renter landlord situation you want to know about. All that, it's fair game tonight here on WVUA Law Call because we are doing one of our Ask Us Anything shows. And sometimes on these shows, we get some really, really creative questions. So, of course, we challenge you. Give our attorney great questions. Go ahead, start thinking about them. If you've got your question ready, pick up that phone and give them a call because let me tell you, this is a popular, popular topic because it's so wide, it's so open and broad you choose what you want to talk about the number to call is 205-348-WVUA 205-348-9882 also you can send in your email to lawcall at wvuatv.com now that's a change our former email address was lawcall at wvua7.com but that is now lawcall at wvuatv.com so go ahead and make a note of that and we'll handle that in just a little while, attorney Josh Hayes will be in to take care of your email questions for us. So go ahead, start getting those calls in. We're going to let you know what's coming up here in the next week. N next couple of weeks, three weeks on WVUA Law Call. Next week is May 7th, domestic violence. Unfortunately, that is a, an issue that affects so many families out there. And we'll be taking your questions about that. May 14th is hurt on the job. And then May 21st, hurt on the road. Matt Glover in tonight. Bob Prince is usually occupies this seat, but we've Matt, got Matt Glover in tonight. Matt, glad to have you here. Hey, good to see you. You you were gone last time I was here. I was. Lynn Brooks was nice enough to yeah. fill in for me, yeah. but she did great. But I know she did. We're glad you're here. Well, thank you so much. Well, and we're certainly glad you're here, Matt. And of course, Bob not here. What's Bob up to? Well, today was, uh, uh, of course, he, he regrets that he, he cannot sure. be here, not only because of the public, but also because of the guests that we have. Sure. Uh, but today was a typical day uh, for our firm. Bob and, and Paul Clemens at our office was up in Birmingham uh, trying to resolve a case in what's called mediation. Josh was actually out working on a case uh, that involved a man who was uh, killed in a tractor-trailer wreck, mm -hmm. and they left me back at the house, the office, and I was so sitting in on some depositions. Drink some coffee and uh, keep up with some clients. Enjoy the pretty weather. I actually, we represent several um, small business owners in a case that they have against a major insurance company, and so I was sitting there today working on that case. Well, very good. All right. Well, tonight we are talking, ask us anything. Are you ready for these questions, Matt? Because we could really, you know, who knows what, what folks at home are going to ask. Well, this is my first ask us anything, but I've changed the name of the show tonight. And it's Ask Dave Anything, ask because Dave that's our, anything. Our, our guest. He can answer it all. I'm just going to sit here and watch and enjoy. All right. Well, sounds good. Well, why don't we introduce our guest? Well, we have a, a great attorney with us here uh, tonight who has practiced in, in Tuscaloosa and in the surrounding counties and in the area for over 30 years. Uh, it, it's Dave Andrus. Uh, Dave has, has worked in a lot of different areas, and he'll talk about that tonight, but he does the kind of work that we do, injury work, he does workers' compensation work, uh, they, they, the firm handles some uh, family issue cases like divorce and child support, and I know he's going to talk about some of that tonight. His firm handles immigration issues, but he's got this general, broad knowledge of the law, and we're glad that he has uh, agreed to come here tonight and to share his information with the community. Thank you very much, Dave. Well, thanks for having me. It's good to be back That's with right. you guys. I been with Bob a couple of times, but man, it's good to be here with you. Yeah, this is Dave's third time on the show, know, so we, we, we reserve that for only the most special guests. We sure, we sure do, and you mentioned broad general legal knowledge, and that's really what we need for this type of show we tonight, because do. we're talking about just about anything. Dave, what all types of cases do you handle in your practice? Well, uh, Matt mentioned some of those. Uh, we do personal injury. Uh, I do some workman's compensation. Uh, I do uh, some domestic practice. Uh, do some criminal work. One of my law partners does a lot of immigration work. The law partners does a lot of real estate work. So it's a, it's a varied practice, and 
It's been fun. I've been doing it over 30 years, 36 years, uh, Matt, really. And, uh, and it's still fun, which, is, uh, which makes you feel good about what you've chosen to do for a living. And they, am I right that you were the acting district attorney in Tuscaloosa at one time? I, I was. It was uh, uh, for only a very short period of time. But uh, uh, when, I, when I graduated, I uh, was an assistant district attorney for three and a half years. And then my boss became, was elected judge. There was a vacancy, and for, for a very short period of time, uh, I was the acting uh, DA. Love that. Uh, love that job, but uh, move on. Sure. That's great. All right. Well, Dave, we're certainly glad to have you here tonight, and we've got those phone lines filling up. Let's go ahead and get to them. Suzanne in Northport. Suzanne, how are you? Um, okay, how are you? Good. What's your question tonight? Um, yes, I was trying to put my niece into school. And I had a temporary um, custody paper that was drawn up and notarized. Well, when I tried to apply at the uh, DHR, the, hum uh, the health center, they explained to me that I needed a legal Alabama-dependent care form. I have to petition the courts. And I'm wondering, should I get a lawyer for that or not? I, I don't know what I should do from there. Well, in terms of... Uh getting something the school would, uh, would would accept, which is I understand you're trying to get the, the child in school, generally you, you probably need to see an attorney. Uh, the probate court has been real helpful in uh, 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 accepting guardianship filings. Uh, it's not even, even quite custody. Uh, a custody issue would be a little more complicated and more expensive, but the, uh, the guardianship filings that the school boards, both city and and county have accepted uh, through probate is a very uh, quick route to go, a fairly inexpensive route to go. But my recommendation that you'd see virtually any attorney that's in general practice, and they would be glad to help you. Terry, you know, uh, one of the things I know Dave probably sees as well, and, and we see sometimes as we go to court, and I, I think it's always uh, to have an advantage to have an attorney there. Mm -hmm. But in our in our area here in Tuscaloosa, I notice the judges are very good about making sure that someone who does come to court, if they don't have an attorney, they really take the time to explain to them what their legal rights are. So, you know, even in that situation there, uh, we got a great probate judge. You can just walk over there and, and speak to the secretary in the office, and I'm sure they can answer just a question either on that floor or up on the domestic floor upstairs. Well, good. And, uh, yeah, that would be to come into court and not, have, uh, not be represented, not have a legal background, certainly a lot of information you need. Sure. Next up is Lakeisha in Tuscaloosa. Hi, Lakeisha. Hey, how are you? Doing good, Lakeisha. How are you tonight? I'm good. Good. What's your question tonight? Um, I really wanted to know, in the state of Alabama, what is considered a confession? And if you are confessing to something, um, what must a confession entail? That's, and see, ask us anything. That's a first. We've never gotten that question before. Well, uh, uh, I think a confession considered an admission against interest. It's a, it's a statement you make that uh, uh, basically sets forth something usually uh, incriminating, why well, they call it a confession, I guess, and uh, uh, that, that's essentially what a confession is. In order to be admissible, if a person is charged with a crime, then there has to be certain requirements. It has to be voluntarily given. Uh, if the person was in custody by, uh, by law enforcement, then they would have had to been advised of the right to counsel the Miranda warning, we call it, but uh, uh, I hope that's responsive to your question. It is. All right, and thank you for that call, Lakeisha. Next up, Jane in Tuscaloosa. Hi, Jane. Hi. Hi. Doing good, Jane. What's your question for Dave um, and for Matt? Okay. Um, where I stay at, uh, there has been some illegal activity going on around, and the narcotics have been informed about it several times. But the activity is still going on. What do we need to do or who do we need to contact um, to see about getting this stopped? Well, let me give a shot, Joe. Sure. Uh, and I would, I would uh, certainly contact the police. I, I take it you've done that already and you feel that that has not been responsive so far. Uh, but contact maybe the chief, perhaps uh, if you're in the city of Tuscaloosa, contact 